<laughs> Hello, Cindy. I wanted to call you because in math class, you seemed really uncomfortable when I tried to talk to you. So I wanted to talk to you and ask if you wanted to go to the mall this Saturday. Heck yes. I'm so down to go to the mall. Meet at the food court at three. I was thinking we could go to Taco World and eat so many tacos and then get sweatpants at Justice. Oh my God, yes. And you know I have a crush on the clerk at Noodle World, so I'll probably get some pasta. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, P.O. Which means peace out. It's a very lovely day today, and I decided I wanted to make today even lovelier by going to a slightly abandoned night mall that's from the 90s. Last week I found this video called Target That's Stuck in the 80s. I sent you the link and you probably didn't watch it. You probably acted like you watched it. I actually don't think you sent me it. Yeah, I did. Nah. I'm gonna pull up those YouTube. I actually do. I actually will. I know for sure you didn't. Oh. What's that right there? What's that? I sent it to you. But yeah, this guy went to an 80s Target and I was like, I want to do this with a Mao. And first of all, I was thinking about this one Mao that we went to like two years ago. And when we walked inside, some of the lights were out. You could just tell oh, like yeah. it was about to end real quick. But then Lucas informed me that they actually blew up the Mao or destroyed yeah. it. I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure they blew it up. I don't know. I think that's the easiest way to destroy buildings. They just put a nuclear bomb in there. Probably not a nuclear one, right? Well, everyone who lives by it, like they get sick from it, but... Just like the luck of the draw if you live next to somewhere where they drop a nuclear bomb to destroy a, a building. But then I found this other mall that's called Oakview Mall in Omaha, Nebraska. I've actually never been to this mall. Neither, I never had been to it. Oakview Mall was built in 1991. Just a little fun fact, because I know someone's wondering. The opening was held on October 3rd of that year and included an appearance by Vanna White. Who is that? The only reason why I know familiar. who she is is because that one rap song. If you wanna take and take a ride with me. Oh, dun, 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 dun. I knew I knew that name somehow. She's also like the person that's from that one show. What one? It seems like over the past few years, online shopping has increased dramatically and in-store shopping has kind of died. From this Forbes article I found last week, they said, these younger consumers place a high priority on experiences, preferring to spend their money on experiences rather than on material things. Wisely, the reinvention of malls is relying heavily on experiential and entertainment environments, with many malls being anchored by bowling alleys or Dave and Buster's. If mouths aren't gonna die, they're gonna have to make it more of an experience. Oh yeah, more than just shopping. Yeah, they're gonna have to add strip clubs and like all this other stuff, basically. We actually live in this, it's not even on a map, it's an island underneath the Gulf of Mexico. So we um, took a boat and then started driving and yeah, we don't have to get into the whole journey, but. which a lot of people call the Sin City of the Midwest. Just kidding, nobody calls it that, but it I is. I wish they did. It is, because when you get there, it's just like. Fun fact, I don't know if Justin Bieber was talking about this mall. No, he isn't, he's talking about West Roads. Oh, but he made oh a song God. about Omaha Mall. He literally wrote a song about the Omaha Malls, and this is the video on the Omaha Mall. Wow! Damn! Then we arrived to the mall, and I could tell from the outside there was a few big stores that were vacant. But well, I was actually pretty surprised when we got there how the parking lot, it wasn't full by any means, but like I thought we were literally gonna be the only people there. But there was definitely people there, it just wasn't as busy as probably another mall. Just from the outside of the mall, you can kind of tell that what they were going for was windows, windows, windows. We need a window every square inch. We walked in, there was the food court. They had like like six 
places. And then you look up and there's just like this big window thing. And, it, and it's actually pretty cool. I gotta say though, like the Oakview Mall was ahead of its time because there's a mall in LA, the Beverly Center. They redid the whole mall and added in those skylights. Bitch, Oakview did it in 91. Also in the food court, we have to mention, I didn't recognize any of the names, but Calvert, Hamburgers, there's a bunch of places I never heard of. From the food court sign, this place just screams the 90s, which honestly, like I kind of like, if they redid that and made it, did a new paint job, I feel like that could look really cool and like vintage 90s vibes. We just, I'll have to admit and like just talk about how when you look at like the central part of this mall, it looks like a Christmas movie. Yeah. Everything just screams like wholesome people. Like there was marble everywhere and shit. Like they really, like I understand why Vanna White went. I was super duper excited to go on the escalator because I hadn't gone on an escalator for about, I'd say two years, maybe a year and a half. Escalators do kind of scare me because I saw this video, this girl who, um, it, it, the bottom part broke and she got like into the machine. One of the other main points of this mall was this bomb elevator, which had like all these, uh, hey, I'm not an architectural person, but it looked cool. I went on the escalator. The elevator. Oh, elevator. <laughs> <laughs> was it glass? It was only on one oh, side, which probably was really cool for the 90s. It seems to only happen at malls or some sort, some hotels. They make the elevator an experience. I love that. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't go on the elevator because I do have a fear of elevators. You're such a pansy. You on a man. You're pansy. sorry excuse for a man. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Throughout this video, I found out that I that I do love the style of the 90s. Like if I was building a house, I want all of my floors to be like this. And I'm not joking. Yeah, they really tried shit with this mall. So the kids coliseum was unfortunately closed due to COVID, which was annoying because me and Jacob both have kids. We don't like to show them on camera, but our kids were with us in strollers. And they were really excited for this part, but the effing virus ruined some Else. Once I started seeing stores that were abandoned or closed or whatever you want to say, I started counting them, but then I got to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I stopped counting because I don't know how to count any higher, but also I just didn't want to count anymore. But if you want to count how many stores you saw in this video that were abandoned and leave it in the comments below, I would appreciate it. Whoever guesses it right wins a free Mercedes. It even scares me saying that because like, what if I do like, what if someone like sues me over that? It's like, I'm oh. not gonna buy you a Mercedes. This mall is really taking advantage of the empty stores. For example, they turned one of the empty stores into a dip and dot station. Cause usually that would be an actual store, right? And then that would be in the middle. They did try some cool shit though with the empty store slots. There was even one empty slot where they made it look like a store was there. And it was so annoying because Jacob kept telling me, Luke, because it's a painting, but I kept trying to go in because I really wanted this one shirt that was on one of the racks. It's like, maybe have a sign that says this isn't a real store because I wanted the shirt that was on that rack. And it's also so annoying because it's like, are you going to build a store that, that looks like this? Yeah. Or is it all just a facade that you're trying to put me into so I don't believe you that you're lying? It really just made you think like, so what's real and what's fake in this mall? Because the lines are blurred. They also turned one of the stores into a I love Oakview. And in the corner it says hashtag Oakview. So they're really trying to like turn the mall into a social media phenomenon. There was another slot in the mall as well that they, they put an art piece over the empty slot. They're trying to keep the aesthetic of the mall up, even though a lot of it's closing down. There was this empty salon where I'm pretty sure it was shut down, but the door was still open. I was planning on like taking some of the stuff, but I didn't end up doing that. Yeah, for some reason they didn't lock the door for that one. I know, but I could've just gone in and gave myself a haircut. Although. I know. Started your own business in there. I might do that tomorrow. I know it's for free and be like, well, it was open, so. I know and say like, Jacob Salon. I guess they're even using the empty slots as birthday party destinations. You can rent out a slot for a birthday, which honestly sounds kind of fun. You can book a corporate meeting there. They really have a lot of options that you can choose from. If any of you guys were wondering how much one of these leases would cost, I did my estimations. I couldn't find a lease for that exact mile, but across the street, I found out that if you rented 3,500 square feet, it would cost around 28,000 a year. So I'm guessing 
think this mile would be around the same amount. The mall still has some really big brands. Victoria's Secret was in there. There was some like older people brands that I didn't know of, but they Spencers. were Spencers. Oh yeah, I actually got something from Spencers, but uh, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but I did get something. I'm so excited to use it right off. Yeah, there's even some stores that were only open on the weekends. There was this one store where they had like a chain in front of it, like it was closed. There was still walkers in it, so I didn't oh, yeah. know if they were in the middle of closing it or if it was only open on the weekends and they just were like preparing for the weekends. Oh yeah. Wait, dude, are you Jacob? Yeah. I love your videos. Which ones do you watch? Um, Clear DIY Down It. That's from like five years ago. I love you. Do you want a photo? No. It turns out not only some businesses are closed, these things are closed. They're out of order, which is annoying because I really like riding on these when I'm at the mall. I'm too lazy to walk. I want to ride on a stuffed animal duck. There's fucking <laughs> dust in the lens. I thought you were trying to hit it because you're like, I think you're a piss. No, there's actually dust. <laughs> I got very excited because the mall started playing Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani, so I had to dance. <laughs> you know what they say, dance like no one's watching. But in this case, no one was watching because there was no one in this side of the mall. Except maybe there was a ghost that really liked how I moved my body and was really attracted to me and filmed me so they could watch it later, which in that case, I do give them consent to do that. One of the biggest pouts of, the, of this mall was the JC Punny, which was still open. And I was surprised because I remember our mom telling us that JC Punny is closing. And it was exciting because there was a big photo of Shaq in there. This JC Punny looked pretty good. Like it didn't even look that abandoned. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, there was this whole section actually. I looked inside of it and there was just a bunch of clutter. So I guess yeah, I, I just, made that up. I do not like being in the JCPenney because I have heard urban legends that they have their own jail and I don't want to be in there and do one wrong thing wrong and you're stuck in JCPenney jail for 30 days. We could have gone because we were filming and they I said, know. go to JCPenney jail. I feel like Dillard's is one of those places where I have a theory that these clothes that are on all these racks have been there for the last 10 years. There was people shopping there so the clothes do get bought, but I would guess that some of the clothes have been there since 2005. I guess it's sort of like a Midwest version of Nordstrom. Oh yeah, that's true. Any mall that's worth anything has those iconic massage chairs. So Jacob told me since I was in his video, he would treat me to a massage, but then somehow only the credit card only worked on his chair, but we split the 15 minutes. Boy oh boy, did it feel good. Damn. Okay, now it's your turn, Lucas. Thank God. Not only are the stores closing, there was even some kiosks that won't open. For example, Princess Snack Shop. I, I really wish it was open because I wanted to try some stuff, but it's not. No, like what kind of stuff would that place have? I special like pink ass, like hot dogs and like- Cotton pink. candy, wait, pink ass? Like oh, pink, pink ass hot dog. Yeah, like pink ass like granola bars. Like everything would just be spray painted pink. And they probably had to close it down because people would probably get poisoning. Because they're like, you can't eat paint. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, that's what I guess too. Like we said early on the video, a lot of modern mouths are trying to make it more experience oriented. And they did have these Instagram wows, which did call for an experience. I got to take some photos. Am I gonna post them? No, but are they gonna live in this video forever? Yes. You gotta get those people to post it on their Instagram. Get that free advertising. I don't wanna make this into a conspiracy, but there were some mysterious parts of the mall. For example, nobody knows what's behind this wooden thing. And I even asked multiple people, does anybody know what's behind this wooden thing? And everyone claimed they didn't. And is it attached to the disappearance of our childhood cat? There is a key on it, which does lead to suspicion. Who has the key? Let's just move on. I don't uh, want to get scary. too deep into it. Yeah. You don't want the owner of that little box to like go Let's just say us. like if in five years there's a whole Netflix crime series about this, like don't say we told you. This mall did have these little like, uh, you know, like those coral candy thingy majigs. I don't know what you call them. The reason why I'm mad at it is because I feel like no one ever eats these. This candy has been in this mall for the last 25 years, which does 
Will Meow. Oh, another way that Oak View Mile is making money. They sell the stuff inside of the store. I actually don't know if like they are actually selling it. Oh, but, yeah, it might be the know. people who have the lease. But let's just believe that. That Oak is View cool Mile though. You could buy a cash register and shit. I know, I kind of wanted to. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, this is the reason why you know it's a mile from the 90s. They have a proactive thing. It, proactive probably wasn't around in the Yeah, like, they like 2000s thing. I just am excited that Proactive kept this kiosk alive. They're obviously making bank from it. All the acne ass kids around. People are kidding, keeping acne faces and their business is thriving. In every two years, there's this new celebrity that does a video crying and saying like, I wasn't confident until I had acne, which like, Probably is true, but it's just like, they always use the same tactic. Yeah, there weren't any celebrity faces on it though. When I was a teen, like Katy Perry's face would be on it and Justin Bieber, but Kendall Jenner was the last spokesperson, but why isn't her face on there? I thought it would either be Kendall Jenner or it would be Adam Levine. Just for some free promo, I, I stand in front, I stand in, I stood in front of the proactive machine because I thought people would want to buy it if I was doing Yeah. It. Because I'm like a teen throb, you know? So I thought people would be like, oh my God. A teen throb. <laughs> yeah. A teen heart throb. Oh, a teen Is heart a teen throb. throb? <laughs> Throbbing. <laughs> While we were exploring this huge mall, like there was like so many, there was probably four different wings and we were there for probably an hour and a half. I was just walking, we were filming it and a security guard was like, what's up? And we were like, we're gonna get kicked out because we're YouTubers. But oh, he was yeah. like, no, like keep doing it. And, oh yeah. And he actually walked past us again and like, he said, keep doing it. I think he made a joke and said, do you want me to help you take the photo? Cause he thought we were taking photos. And then I, I covered it by saying like, oh yeah, like there's so many good places to take Instagram photos here. And he said, that's what I've heard. If you guys want to know anything else about the convo, I'll answer questions in the comments. Not to do another creepy part of this video, but build a bell. I swear I haven't seen build a bell for six or seven years. I did have a build a bell bell at one point. Oh my gosh, did you know that when you get a build a bell, they give you this like little thing and you can make the build a bell say whatever you want. Oh yeah, so, so you can record it and give it to someone. Yeah, so you can make it say like something gross. Oh, can you give it a heartbeat too? I think so. We did have a theory though that the people in the Builder Bear had been stuck in there from the early 2000s because you could just tell like these are not people from 2021 and yes, they have a mask on, but that doesn't dispute our theory. It's this weird Builder Bear stimulation. And once you go in, like you can never get out. I wasn't on drugs. None of us were on drugs, but it felt really odd. <laughs> yeah. There was this big department store on one of the edges of the mall. So we walked inside and I think it's an, a furniture store that's slowly gonna go out of business. I think they're trying to sell everything before they call it a quits. Call it quits. <laughs> <laughs> While we were inside the store, Whip My Hair by Willow Smith came on and I really just let it rip. And I whipped my hair back and forth and just gave it my all. Wasn't she like 13 when that came out? I know 13 and did probably the most iconic song ever. Oh my gosh. This furniture store did have a view of the parking lot, which I'm gonna give it an A plus for that. The store was actually two floors, but we weren't allowed to go in the bottom floor. I don't know if that's like their shipping center. Yeah, and the escalators were shut down. And when I looked at this, I was like, I thought I was a messy human. Nope, I'm not. I'm not a messy human. You're coming for them. No, because there's just boxes <laughs> everywhere. Oh, yeah. But I guess that's what happens. You know, it's not anything that you can control. I was so excited to go to this photo booth because this is another thing that is just, oh my gosh, what the mall, let's take a yeah. booth to a photo booth. But it didn't work. It didn't take our card and just the screen wasn't working so I don't know what was going on. The one pro to the photo booth was we were walking and then this group of middle schoolers, I don't know how they were there because it was midday on a Thursday, but they started pointing at us and saying like, you guys are so ugly and like, you guys are such bad acne, like go back to your parents' house. We just wanted to make sure they passed by so they didn't get bullied any further. I was so scared to come out. Yeah. Lucas, are they still here? No, they, they went to Taekwondo practice. We're okay, all good. thank you, thank you. One more time, let's just appreciate this dome. This is insane. Like the person who built this mall for sure was a billionaire because they laid down money. I know. And and again, I just have to emphasize, I loved the vibe of the mall, how you were inside, but you felt like you were still getting sunlight, which I loved. Yeah, These and windows it, do stuff. And it's perfect for the Midwest because an outdoor mall kind of sucks ass because for like four months of the year, you're freezing yeah. to go there. After about two hours or so of being in the mall, we decided to leave because we've done enough. We've looked at enough. We ended up buying nothing. I, I'd say it was a great experience. 
Sorry for my voice cracking. I loved the Oakview Mall, and I still have hope that it's gonna somehow have a resurgence and take on all the other competition in the area. It'll somehow reinvent it. I'm gonna rate this mall a five out of 10 because there is a lot of empty spaces. Like. Yeah, appearance wise, 10 out of 10, loved it. Store selection wise, for me personally, probably yeah, like, a three out of 10, because for me personally, I don't want to shop at any of those stores, because it, oh. it was all like Victoria's Secret and stuff. Which... I didn't think about it. The only time I'd go to this mall was if it's one of those days where I'm like, let's do something, let's go to the mall, but yeah. I just know for a fact I never buy anything. But I stores. do want to go back and try those food court selections, because what the hell is Calvert's Bird? I do too. Yup, this is the completion of going to a slightly abandoned mall that's stuck in the 90s. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to both of us. Lucas's links are below. Goodbye, Z. Bye.